well, well, wells. Welcome back to the YouTube guys and welcome back to the channel. I've kind of stolen Jack mate's intro a little bit there. He was here the other day in Wells planting one of his golden tickets and I was less than 12 hours away from getting it and someone else got it. But anyway, no hard feelings Jack. Welcome to the beautiful Wells guys. Today we are reviewing Ask Italian. The restaurant's open inside now so we're able to go inside. Actually it is quite a nice day but I just want to sit inside for once you know. A bit bored of sitting outside now. So we're going to sit inside, try some of the new menu, go off piece, try some new pasta dishes. First what we need to do is go and find the Crown at Wells which is an old historic pub in the film of Hot Fuzz that was filmed right here as well. So let's go there for a pint, then we'll go to Ask and we'll show you around Wells a little bit. It smells amazing. Okay guys, so we're now in the Crown at Wells, which actually was part of a Hot Fuzz set. They did actually film in here and outside in the whole marketplace where we just were. But I've got some really interesting tales about this pub that they've just given me. So I'm just going to read you a couple because I think they're quite interesting. The whole pub was built in around 1450. It's one of the oldest pubs in Wells. Not the oldest pub in Wells. They've had loads of ghostly sightings in here. So apparently there's quite a lot of ghostly apparitions peering through glass windows, as well as a spate of bottom pinching in the bistro. I'm not sure that was a ghost, guys. Probably an unruly waiter, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you another one as well. There's been images of people wandering through the pen bar, which is where we're sat right now. And they've appeared on CCTV despite the fact that the bar has been empty and closed. So if you're in Wales and you want a bit of history, you want to maybe see some ghosts and have a lovely pint, crown at Wales, guys. That's where we are right now. Mm. That food's lovely as well. It is, but we're not eating here today. And also, if you come here and ask for one of these Halloween tales. Yeah. So, guys, we're here in Ask Italian in the lovely Wales. Look at this, yeah. Jordan. It's nice, isn't it? It's nice. We've got a little complimentary shot to do, so you just crack on with this one. What is this? Lemonade. Oh wow. That is refreshing. So they have this like new ordering system now where you have to use the app. But they do give you menus. We're having a few technical problems with the app, right? It's finally worked. What's on order? Two Perona. Apparently we get a free bottle of olive oil as well, right? Yeah, I think it might be like that. Ooh. That's not the reason why we've come here then. Yeah, it is. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, I think it is that one. Is it? Le Fair. Olive oil. Ah. So you kindly to write me down the code. And yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. Finally got drinks now, guys, as well. Ask oh, Italian has the best. <laughs> oh, cool. Is that it? Nice. Mm -hmm. oh. Wow. Thank you. you check. Yeah. Definitely in date, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I always check, you know. Sometimes. Yeah. Thank you. Way right. So we've got the olive oil. We've got the drinks. Cheers, Jordan. Cheers. This is actually the first meal we've had back out when we can sit yeah, inside. It is. Peppery and spicy, the Coritina olive variety is typical from Puglia, <laughs> in southern Italy. Nice. Sorry if I offend anyone there. Its intense flavour is a perfect match with rich dishes full of flavours and full-bodied roast red meats, oven-cooked fish, cartier bread <laughs> and pasta dishes. <laughs> How are you? Okay, so we're jumping straight into the starters. What were so. you going to start with? Chicken lekker lekker. Whoa. Breaded chicken fillets served with a spicy tomato dip and garlic mayonnaise. Ooh. The lekker lekker is here. You're right, chicken lekker lekker. You look very happy about this. Lekker lekker lekker. Looks like a corn dog. Let's have a little look at these then, guys. Mm. So, what is that sauce you've got there? That is a spicy tomato one. Okay. And what's the other sauce? Garlic mayo. Often I find with chicken, it's like formed, so I don't know, it looks like it could be... Mm. What are we saying? Mm. Right now. You're liking the lekker leckers. Mm -hmm. I love the bottle they give you, right? Mm. I actually think these are really cool. Like, I love I love the stick for it. That one's on a bit wrong. Let's, let's try. Let's try with the spice tomorrow. Mm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Good. Yeah. We've ordered something a bit different today. I've gone for a, well, I don't think I'm pronouncing this right, purple pesto Genovese. Purple pesto. I think it's Genovese. 
purple pesto genovese. Genovese, sorry guys, got it wrong if you're Italian. Anyway, finish with purple pesto, which I think sounds great, and like little pea shoots and toppings. I've got my uh, COVID jab tomorrow, so I'm trying to be healthy. Jordan's gone for the predictable uh, fettuccine <laughs> bolognese. Stop bullying me. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I'm excited for this main course. Order's in on the app. Food is here. Okay. This, this is looking amazing. This is the cool pasta dish I was describing earlier. Jordan, uh, as always, on the fettuccine bolognese. A bit of extra cheese on there, right? Mm. That's a good idea. Look at this purple pesto, though, guys. That's looking great. Whoa. Yeah, I'll add a bit of cheese on there, I think. A bit of parmesan, right? Yeah. Can't beat it. <laughs> this is your favourite dish on the Arsenal menu, isn't it? Can't go wrong with it. They do make a really good baggie, actually, I think. They do. Super vibrant, super fresh. I think this is going to be good. I did have a little try a minute ago. And it is really cool, like, shapes of pasta there. The purple pesto. Not only does it give it a great colour combination. Mm, great taste. I personally haven't had this with chicken. We had chicken earlier. I don't think it needs chicken. I think this is great on its own. Definitely recommend this one, guys. I have finished that, that amazing pasta. Beautiful. How was the, uh, the old fettuccine? Very nice. You love it, don't you? But I actually really enjoyed that. What did you think? Raviano. Bellissimo. Oh, how about? Excellente. Excellente. Wow. So it's pretty... I'm Italian now, guys. I reckon that was really nice. Really cool lunch, actually. Nice and quick. Service was good. Food was good. Would I recommend it? Yes, I would. And now we're going to go for a walk around Wells. So, guys, that was a really nice meal. Actually, quite a nice afternoon in Wells. We are stood right now by the Bishop's Palace, just behind me here. And actually, Hot Fuzz was also filmed around here. I'll ask Italian where we've just been. It's just over there. You get a beautiful view onto the Bishop's Palace, guys. It's a lovely place for lunch. And I actually think the new menu is really good. So, yeah, definitely try it out. Jordan, did you like your fettuccine? Bolognese. Oh, it was gorgeous. Oh, it was right nice. It was right nice. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, please drop a like and subscribe if you like the video, or even if you just like me and Jordan, or just like it anyway, that'd be great. And we will see you next week. And as always, guys, if you want to cook our food, click the link in the description for our food box.